Coming up, we'll take a closer look at a guest speaker who inspired students here at FHS. We'll also learn about some fun events happening around the school. I'm Caitlin Shaw. And I'm Laura Kate Moore. Welcome to the Bulldog Weekly. Welcome back to the Bulldog Weekly. Today is Friday, October 21st, and we've got a great show planned. Let's start with some national news. Election Day is just around the corner, and you can get a jump on early voting starting Monday. Polls will be open all over Washington County and will stay open until general election on Tuesday, November 8th. There are many local and national seats coming open, including Governor, Secretary of State, and U.S. Senate. To find more information and see where you should go to cast your vote, go to the Washington County Election website that's it for national news. FHS Student Council is teaming up with the FPS Outback for their annual food drive. Students can donate non-perishable food items in their advisory from October 17th through November 4th. The advisory who collects the most food items will win a donut party. You can support FHS choir students with the purchase of Madrigal Blend Coffee from Arcegas Coffee Roasters or Poinsettias from the Westwood Gardens. You can order online through November 13th with curbside pickup at Fayetteville High School on November 30th. Please check the student announcements for more information. If you haven't ordered your yearbook yet, now is the time to do so. Reserve by October 28th to ensure you get the best price possible. If you have any questions, email Mr. Teague at the address on your screen. FHS has had many guest speakers over the years who have made an impact on the student body, but during homecoming week this year, a new standard was set. Bulldog TV reporter Madison Williams takes us behind the scenes of Kevin Atlas and his inspiring story. I tried out for a team in seventh grade at 6'4". In seventh grade, I got cut from the seventh grade team because I have one arm. Kevin Atlas spoke to FHS students about his past insecurities to encourage others and make a difference. Uh, I've grown into a leader. Uh, I really have, and I, I've had great mentors to help me do that, so I've been blessed. Uh, that all being said, man, a fool learns from his own mistakes, a wise man learns from others. And I will share this with you. If you are out there and you are 17 years old, you're a senior in high school, are you the same at 7 as you are at 17? No, you've grown. Are you going to be the same at 27 as you are at 17? No, you're going to grow and become better, more intelligent, wiser, etc. Let your 27-year-old self figure it out. I'm not saying don't plan for the future. I'm saying you only get this once. Just live in the moment, live in the present, and just relax for a second. You're so anxious. Slow down, take a breath, and realize how special this is. You only get it once. While Atlas is a good speaker now, it's something he had to work on from a young age. I've had other coaches teach me things like just being able to embrace myself and, and have that self-love. So ultimately, coaches and teachers raised me, and what they did outside of the curriculum, the seeds they planted, really, really impacted me. Uh, sometimes we, we only focus on the hardships that are right in front of us, we don't see the big picture. And it's hard, especially for like a high schooler, to be able to perceive the big picture and the big story and what you guys are truly doing is special. But what you are in right now is, is a four year, quote unquote, prison sentence where it's very challenging to, to be positive. But if you can learn to be a leader in that environment, you'll thrive anywhere in life. The main message he wants students to take away is the difference you can make at your school. If you go to high school, you have the ability to make absolute change at that high school. Everyone else is there just to service you. You have to realize it's your school. How can you create legacies that will last, outlast the memory of you even going to that school? What can you do? What change do you want to see and how can you deploy it? What spirit can you generate? Because empathetically, a lot of kids are coming to school really, really struggling from stuff that's going out in their home lives. But when they come to school, they actually feel like they're second family. So, are you the judgmental type, or when you see somebody sitting alone at lunch, do you welcome them to sit with you too? Stay up to date for more of Kevin Alice's inspirational messages on his social media. For FHS TV, I'm Madison Williams, back to the desk. Man, that was such an inspiring story. It really was, wasn't it? Thanks, Madison, and thank you to everyone who helped make that speaker available here at FHS. 
Miss Simpkins and Mr. Holden will be leading a Halloween-themed evening trail cleanup at Devil's Den State Park on October 27th. The hike will benefit the Youth Guardians of Conservation NWA and the Snake Mountain Pack Goats nonprofit will provide hiking goats to join the cleanup. Students will receive three volunteer hours and you can check the student announcements for more information. If you like to show your Bulldog pride to the whole community, you may now purchase an FHS yard sign. The signs are on sale now through the FHS V store at the link on your screen. Signs are $25 each and will be available in November for pickup. If you are interested in continuing your education at the University of Arkansas, NWTI or NWAC, counselors from those schools will be on our campus to meet with students and their parents. Appointments are from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and the calendar of when schools will be here is in the student announcements. There are many events around school aimed at helping and encouraging students. This week, FHS TV reporter Sailor Keen shows us what exactly goes on during Fun Friday. Over the last three years, COVID-19 has put some FHS traditions on pause. This year, Dog Crew has been working extremely hard to bring in those iconic traditions back. So Dog Crew is a student leadership type class that we're all in. We kind of like bring about school spirit in school. COVID, we couldn't really have many events, but now we've been planning a lot of new events and things that just like haven't happened the past three years. And we've really been like blowing it up on social media too, so people know about it. To be a member in Dog Crew, you kind of undergo like two parts, right? So sophomore year, end of your sophomore year, you'll apply to be in the club. Then we can invite you for an interview and then you can be a part of the class. We make signs, put around the school and for me specifically, like I've been planning the pep rallies along with some other people and we just like plan all kinds of events. Flash Mob Fridays, or I think like the past two weeks it's been Flash Mob Thursdays. We just kind of want to get people excited for the weekend or any like current events that we have going on. I mean like yesterday we're like, oh Flash Mob for the football game tomorrow or like for Spirit Weeks, just trying to get people wanting to come to school and wanting to be more involved and wanting to participate and just kind of creating more of a like a community for the Fable Bulldogs. With FHS TV, I'm Sailor Keen. I know I always look forward to Fridays. What about you, Caitlin? I sure do. <laughs> Thanks, Sailor. After the break, we'll hear about how an FHS student is making his childhood dream of becoming a private pilot come true. We'll also hear from Jackson Leopold with the Bulldog Sports Report. We'll see you in 30. FHS TV, this is Thomas Chambers. From the Bulldog Weekly, I'm Sean Newman. Back to you Welcome back to the Bulldog Sports Report. The FHS football team is winding down its regular season with only three games remaining this year. The Purple Dogs face off against rival Springdale tonight at Razorback Stadium with a special game time of 7.30 p.m. If you can't make it to that game, you can catch the game on the Fayetteville Sports Network. The FHS Volley Dogs are continuing their blistering start as they have now wrapped up their regular season unbeaten in conference play. The Volley Dogs haven't even lost a set to an in-state opponent. They will begin their track for state championship next week at the state tournament in Rogers. And finally, a big congratulations to the FHS boys tennis team for their state championship. We are proud of you all. That's all for the Sports Report. As always, make sure to come out and support your Bulldogs. I'm Jackson Leopold. Back to the desk. Thanks, Jackson. There's a new program here at FHS aimed to help students succeed in the classroom, and it's being run by other students. FHS TV's own Aiden Mills tells us about the FHS Tutor Bank and how students can get involved. Are you falling behind your schoolwork? Do you feel overwhelmed? Well, if you've answered yes to any of these questions, we have the place for you, the Tutor Bank, for all your tutor needs. The Tutor Bank is essentially just a big slideshow with all the tutors we have here at FHS. Um, I just went on and made my own slide. I put my picture on, my email, what I tutor in, and I've been getting emails from teachers and students that have asked um, for tutoring help. Well, the last couple years, we've done a lot of tutoring with NHS and through Move Alpha Theta, and this was just basically kind of a way to centralize that information because we had a lot of student overlap that we're trying to tutor in both, and it was hard to kind of schedule um, for both. 
Um, so we basically created this tutor bank. It's a slide of PowerPoints with um, each slide is a different tutor. It has their picture, has some information about what they tutor, what they're really well at, and maybe some contact information. So students themselves can go kind of pick out their tutor. Maybe they know someone, might feel more comfortable with that person, and then they can kind of set up their own time to tutor. I'm actually, um, Mr. Campbell, our RTI coordinator, suggested it. Uh, we were basically trying to find a way to organize um, our tutoring a little bit better than it has in the past. Um, we tried to do a little bit of Move Alpha Theta, a little bit of NHS last year, and it was just a lot of overlap, a lot of confusion. Um, so we were basically trying to streamline a way to be more efficient with the tutoring process to help the students out. If you need tutoring, ask your teacher for access to the Google Slides, and they'll get you matched up with someone who's right for you. For FHS TV, I'm Aiden Mills. Thanks. That's all we've got for this edition of the Bulldog Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHSTV Fayetteville High for all new shows and live events. And follow us on our Instagram at FHS Bulldog TV to stay up to date with all the news around the school and in the community. I'm Laura Kate Moore. And I'm Caitlin Shaw. We'll see you next time. We'll also hear from Jackson. I hate you. You're testing my patience. Guardians of Galaxy. Conservation. NWA and the Snake Mountain Pack goats. What the? <laughs> Snake Mountain Pack. And the, and the. That sounds awful. What? We could have literally. Well, Caitlin, I hope to see your dance moves this fun Friday. <laughs> I know I. <laughs> what the frick is wrong with you? Whoa! Well, no credits. I like. Every, every, every.